All right, so the rest is done with texture um, more than anything else. So even if the wings are a little bit round now and they're based upon modeling, I still get all this transparency stuff via texture. I'm not going to get into that. That's going to be the texture rendering and lighting course, however. And in here, it looks to me like the body is a little bit shorter than what I have. Um, but I'm, I'm very certain that there's a whole bunch of different variations of dragon slide. It's just this one seems a little long to me. Okay. So I'm going to take all these. And just kind of let's take a lattice. It's probably be the best way to do this. And we'll jump into my top view. Just pull these back just a little bit. Maybe scoot these forward a little bit. Yeah, that seems a little bit better. Maybe not so humped. It's starting to look like a bee or something, or a wasp. Okay, there we go. Duplicate that up. Let's get rid of this one that has the lattice on it. I'll put this one back down really sort of the rest is done in ZBrush um, we have to mirror the wings of course There we go. I was like, what the heck? So I'm going to put a negative on this side. And this is duplicate special options. I'm going to apply that. Notice how they're all little, they're jacked up. Okay. So a way to fix that is first uh, go into polygons and mesh combine them together. Uh, dog Victor it to the center. There we go. And then modify freeze transformation. Okay. That'll help out if you ever use duplicate special. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Um I I was just checking something to make sure I don't got any duplicates in here cuz I think I hit that button. Yep. And there we go. Good. All right, there's our dragonfly. Very cool looking. Love it. I would probably want to research a little bit on the head to make sure that maybe it doesn't get to a little point right here like that or maybe a little bit down. So I would have to kind of research to see what happens at this region. But other than that, it could be texture too. All right. So meet me in the next video.